Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the mirror mask in Visage. To get the mirror mask you're going to have to collect 7 pieces of it, and in order to find those pieces you're going to need the 7 videotapes that are scattered around the house. Three of those videotapes are obtained by beating the chapters, that's the Lucy chapter, the Dolores chapter, and the Raken chapter. If you need guides for those and you haven't beat them yet, I have got those guides on my channel. If you need some help, you can find those linked in the description and at the end of this video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Let's get this going. Right, so we're in the main hall right now and uh, I'm just sorting out my inventory a little bit. So what you're going to want to do before you do this to make it a little bit easier is to go and get all the videotapes. To get all of the videotapes, you're going to have to have beaten the three chapters. That's Raken, Lucy and Dolores. You'll get one tape for each of the chapters you've beaten. And they can all be found at the end of the chapters. So Lucy's in the toilet right here in the bathroom. I purposely didn't collect these so I can just show you the locations and uh, first of all we'll grab the ones that you can get for beating the chapters. The other one is in the parents bedroom right here on the floor. It's more than likely that if you've beaten the three chapters that you're going to have these tapes because they're literally right next to the progress items uh, when you finish the chapter. Real easy to find. And the last one is in the basement. Uh, this one is for Raken's chapter and you can find it when you drop out of the hole. Again, it's hard to miss if you've beat the chapters, but just in case you have missed them or you're wondering where they are, um, this one is next to the hole you can make in the wall. Also, I wanted to mention that if you want to get the bad ending, you have to break down this wall and inside you can find a, uh, a revolver and you need to continuously shoot yourself with the, the revolver and eventually you'll get the bad ending. I'll do a separate video talking about that though. So, the next tape we can find is in this chest of drawers right here, in the hallway in the basement. That's Addiction. Let's grab that. Also, I wanted to mention that if you're having a problem beating any of the chapters, like Dolores or Lucy or Raken, I've got guides up for those if you want to go and check them out. And another one of the tapes is in the boiler room right here. It's in the back corner, right there. These kind of give you clues as to what to do to get the different parts of the mirror mask and if you're the kind of person that doesn't really want too many hints but you're a bit stuck with this if you get these tapes and uh, watch them on the VCR in the living room you just get a few hints as to what you've got to do to get through the um, the mirror mask pieces so the next tape is indifference and it's in this chest of drawers as you come up the stairs from the basement that's another one so is that I think that's six now right so we're going to need one more, and that's over by the progress room in the cabinet back here. Pretty much where you start the game. And uh, yeah, it's just here in the cabinet. So I'm going to do these one by one. If you're looking for a particular one, or you're looking help with a certain thing, I'll try my best to um, timestamp stuff in the description so you can just skip to what you need. If you're stuck with a certain tape, then you can check out what to do. The one that I think a lot of people have probably had problems with is the picture frames one. Um, but we'll get around to that. I'm not sure what number that is. Maybe I think it might be four or so. There is a more efficient way to do this stuff, but I just wanted to separate everything and do them all individually so you guys don't get confused. There's definitely quicker ways to get through this. I don't think you have to watch all of the tapes in order to activate some of the scenes to get the mirror mask pieces. Uh, but... Again, we'll just go through them one by one. Right now we're going to do Addiction. Let's slap that in the VCR. Also, for anybody who just wants to see what's on the tapes, I did play all the way through the tape, so you can just check it out. They're kind of these weird scenes that involve um, kids a lot. Babies, home video type deals. But for this one, if you want to just go and get going, you just need to go to the parents' bedroom after watching the tape and a hole will be in the floor where the bed is. I'm pretty sure this is one of the tapes you need to actually play the tape for it to activate. So you can see the hole in the floor there, you play the tape, go up there, and the bed will be gone. But we'll watch all the way through the tapes, just for anyone who's here, just to see what's on them. There's not really any talking or anything on these tapes. You get some dialogue when you're inside certain areas i'll let that play out i wanted to show all of this to its fullest and like i said if you're looking for a specific uh, piece of help with a certain tape just go ahead and look in the description for timestamps 
and you'll be able to skip to where you need to get to. So, this tape's almost over. I'm pretty sure it's about to restart around here somewhere. You can see that's the parents' bedroom door. Some of these tapes are significantly shorter than others. But now that we've done that, let's head up the stairs to the parents' bedroom. And in the floor, right here, there's a hole now and the bed's not there. And you've got to come down this ladder. And all you can see straight away is a bed. You're going to go over to the bed, pull back the sheet. And then within a few seconds, the other side of the room will light up. You can wait for that, or you can just walk into the darkness and it'll activate the scene. But once you approach the Why, chairs, the TV there, will start. Chap. I've been waiting for you for quite some time now. You're my friend, aren't you? Care to share a drink with me? What a look you have! Are you tired somehow? I get ya. It's hard to rest in this place, isn't it? Yes, I know, I've been here for quite some time, you know, and I'm glad you came along, but hey, we're here to talk about you, right? Never mind my foolish burdens and talk to me. So, you feel confused, don't you? I understand. Everything has been really blurry since you woke up, hasn't it? Do you even know your own name, old friend? Dwayne, of course! There's no mystery here, but I can see that you are wondering if this is real after all. I can assure you, although this might not reassure you, that it is very real. In fact, one might say that this is the first time you're facing reality. No, no, don't look at me like that. I'm on your side, Dwayne. We've been friends for so long, after all. Who am I? Ah, you've always been like this, haven't you? Always asking the wrong questions. Dwayne, 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 listen to me here. The real question isn't who am I, but who are you? Dwayne, but that is nothing but a name, my friend. I'm not asking about a name, I'm asking about who you are. Now, now, Dwayne, shush, shush, shush a little bit and take a sip. Remember, you and me, we go a long way. I'm on your side. Why don't we take a little sip to our friendship? So when the guy asks you to drink, you need to drink. Basically. Now cue the next bit of dialogue. If you want me to help you, I've got to know something. Are you a fucking murderer? No? Well, what could be the reason behind all that drinking and drugging then? What's up with you? Oh. You've been seeing things you say? Things, hmm? Things like that? Don't you worry, my friend. Just take a sip, and everything's gonna be back to normal. Go ahead. Drink a little of this wonderful poison. It'll do you real good. I would advise you to take that drink now, my friend. See? Ain't that sweet? You know you can always rely on this to get you back on track, don't you? Yeah, you remember the coarse taste that burns and slides down your throat, ominously bringing relief and the dulling of your senses? Come on, take another sip. You know you want it. Since you insist, why not? Cheers! Cheers. And another sip. And another sip. Cheers. Now, Dwayne, will you fucking tell me who you are? So, once the TV goes off, wait a few seconds and then take another swig of the drink and then underneath the glass will be our first mirror mask piece. And there it is. Let's grab it. <laughs> I 
That's one of seven. Some of these scenarios take longer than others. Some of them are just difficult to find. But either way, back up the ladder back to the house. Let's go move on to our next tape. Right. So. Bit dark in the house. Let's open up a lighter. And let's move on to the next tape. So, back to the living room. And we need to pull the tape out of the VCR. There we go. First tape down. Let's put that back in the deck and grab tape number two, which is greed. There we go. Put that in the VCR. Let's have a look. So this one is in the basement and in the boiler room there's a vent. Uh, this is quite a short scenario. I think that one we just did is probably one of the longer ones. There's two or three that are longer than the others. But this one's really simple. This was probably one of the ones that I found early on because the vent that lead you to this mirror mask piece has actually been there since early access it just wouldn't let you go through it there we go that's the whole tape I'm still watching it for some reason <laughs> must not have realized or maybe I looked away for a second okay let's carry on to the basement then and once you get into the boiler room there's a uh, a set of stairs you can climb to open the vent and it'll break so one thing you might need to do this tape it's worth mentioning is the electric room key I'm sure if you've explored the house a lot you've probably been in there at some point if you don't know where the electric room key is if you go upstairs to the office with the room with the safe in it it's in the set of drawers in the top left drawer um, I haven't shown where it is here, but it's really easy to find. I'm guessing that if you've played for this long, you've more than likely been in here, but that's what it looks like. And like I said, it's in the office upstairs in the top left drawer of the set of drawers with the chair you can sit in, in there. So when that ladder smashes, we're going to go to that electric room, grab this ladder, put it in front of the, lent, uh, the vent, climb up and into the vent follow this around keep going it takes a minute to turn corners and when you get through here you're gonna have to sign a contract that says you don't give a fuck which is kind of weird I'd like to look in to what this game's all about in its entirety I mean I kind of get pieces we get that Dwayne's an alcoholic and he's kind of like stuck in a loop. I'm guessing that there's a big possibility that he's dead. Um, and he killed his family or something like that and this is what you get. Because you kind of see that at the beginning of the game, right? And then you get stuck in sort of the house. Cycling through different scenarios or something like that. Although I don't fully understand it. It's definitely strange. Okay. So, once you sign the contract, this door will open and you'll be able to go into this room full of these faceless people. And you just want to make your way to, to the center. If you crouch, you can walk into these guys and they won't bother you. Whereas if you're standing up, they'll choke you out and you'll probably have to restart. But once you found your way through, the mirror mask piece is in the middle. There we go. Piece number two.
Right. So you'll be put back in the basement right here. Let's open up the door and head back up the stairs. Another lighter there if you need it. They're kind of scattered all around the house. Right. Let's go back up. Look at tape number three. We'll grab that second tape out of the VCR first. So... There it is. Let's put that back. Sort it. And let's grab number three. Negligence. So, again, we'll watch the entire tape. Just so you guys can see it. So for this one, you need to go back to the basement. And I think this may be the tape you get for beating Dolores' chapter. Um, because you need to have the complete phonograph in order to open this wall. So, we've got these people dancing around. Definitely pretty strange. You can see these scenes of like a grocery store. That's the weird thing about all of these scenarios. They kind of talk about dis different aspects of who Dwayne is or was if he is dead. And this one sort of shows how he neglected his family. And he was definitely an alcoholic. Okay, that's the full tape. Let's go. Like I said, if you don't want to watch the tape, you can skip forward a little bit. You just need to play it and then move to where you need to be. So after you've played the tape, when you come down here, there's going to be a vinyl in this picture. And you want to use that vinyl on the phonograph and crank the crank. And then the wall next to you to your left is going to open up. It's a pretty cool effect here. Okay, Let's go. Grab them beers. Yeah, beers are the only things with a special price today. Not the cheese, not the soups, not the tomatoes, nothing. Nothing but beer. It's a beautiful evening. Grocery store. Okay, so once you've filled the cart with beers, just keep going down the aisle. 
and eventually the screen will go black and then you just want to move forward and head through the door that's ahead of you and sit down in the chair drink that beer let the scene play out here and just keep drinking Alright, Sarah, it's time for bed now. Daddy? I want a story. I think it would be great if you told her a bedtime story to him. It's been a while. Daddy? Are you just going to ignore her? Always ignoring us, glued to your fucking beers. You don't talk, you don't sleep in the bedroom, you don't get out at all, you just don't care, do you? Why don't you just leave? Why don't you like that? Talk to me. It used to be so good to us. Chug, chug. Keep drinking. There's your mask piece. There we go. So, you need to leave the living room here and then walk back in. I, th I was looking for um, a key here, but I was thinking about the wrong tape. That comes from another tape. So, back inside, let's watch another tape. And, first of all, grab the one out of the VCR. And then, fourth one along now, Indifference. Let's put that one in. I think this is one of the more difficult scenarios to find I think this may be the one where you have to find picture frames and I feel like this was probably the one that took me here yeah, is this is probably the one that took me the longest to figure out just because you need to find the locations of the picture frames although they're not that difficult also if you sh if you head to the basement and do the thing where you shoot yourself with a revolver you get a glimpse into where the picture frames are okay this also shows you where the locations of some of them are see I think it shows you all of them And there's six for us to get. All right, off we go then. It's restarted. So, I'm not sure what order I did these in, but let's just go and get them all. So there's one in the parents' bedroom, which is the one I think we're going for. It's in the closet. So let's go up there. And in the back of the closet, right there. That's our first picture frame. There's, I think there's one in the kitchen as well, but I don't think I got that one next. I'm pretty sure I may have gone to the basement. I may have taken a wrong turn here, actually. It wouldn't surprise me if I did. It can get a little bit confusing. There's one in the progress room. 
ignore the phone. And up here on the left of the altar type deal, you can find the picture frame right there. That's two. So I think there's three in the basement and there's one more in the kitchen. And if you want to get the one in the kitchen, if you head through the door that was opposite me there, it's on the right hand wall. But I think I came and got that one last because I forgot about it. Either way, I show the location of it in a moment. You can also go through the garage to get to the basement if you want to take a quick away. Right. So, there's one in the freezer room, one in the electric room, and one in the storage room. So there's the one in the freezer room hidden up there in the top corner. There's one over here in this pile of boxes, right there. So that's four. And like I said, there's one in the storage room. Hopefully I didn't get too turned around here. I think I might have been thinking about where to go next. Well, we get there in the end. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure if I got the... Yeah, I think I went and got the one that was in the kitchen next and then came back down for the one that's in the storage room. Uh, but you do have to go to the basement when you're done with these anyway, so that works out just fine. So... Back out we go, back into the main house. And like I said, you might want to grab this one before I do. I was having a little trouble remembering where they all were, but it's over here on your left. Right here, grab that one. And then we need to go back to the basement to get the last one, which is in the storage room. Not the most efficient order, but they're all there. What's kind of different about this section is that you get the um, the guy that looks like he's covered in ink. Apparently, he's called Lewis coming after you. And in other sections in the in the early access, we didn't have anyone chasing us when we were in the the main house. Right there's the other one, right there in the back corner. So that's all six. We need to go over here and slap them all on the wall. So even though, like I said, you have a guy that can come out and chase you, he doesn't really chase you for very long and sort of in relation to the big stains that are on the walls in different areas, and over time they get bigger and eventually he'll come out of them and come after you, but he's really slow and easy to get away from. So, now that you've done that, Let's head through the hallway of cans and through this door at the end. Once you've done that, you're going to have a bunch of pills in front of you that you need to eat. Or take. Eating a pill sounds a bit weird. And as you do this, the... Um, chains on the door are going to come off. Right, once you've taken all the pills... Head towards the door and all the chains will get stuck back on again and then once that's happened you're going to need to interact with all the doors that are in the room and that will release a chain each time you do it pills in that one that one's jammed. This one just has like a glass in it or something. And this one has a guy painted. <laughs> Little jump scare. And uh, now we can go through the door. And then we need to 
walk through the hallway of depression. And once you've done that, spin around. You kind of get... The hallway gets smaller on you when you turn back around. All of the pages will fly away and... You'll be in this area. This one definitely takes a while to get through. There's also some dialogue when you get to the lighthouse we're heading to. But just keep following the obvious path until you reach the boat. It's kind of weird with this game is in some areas you can move faster than others. You've got higher run speeds in certain places. This isn't one of them, but I'm guessing they wanted the player to sort of take all of this in, you know, and enjoy the scenery. When you're on the boat, there's a few cool things to look at. Okay. I'm guessing the devs purposely waited to release this for Halloween. Um, I'm not sure how long or how much work they had to do. Oh yeah, you need both hands to use the boat, so put anything in your hands away. <clears throat> I'm not sure how long the game's actually been ready for. I suppose it's a smart move to release a scary game on, Hall on Halloween. I definitely really enjoyed this game. I've had a great fun playing this game and waiting for it has taken what feels like forever, but... It's crazy to think the game's been in development for two years. Um, but we need more games from this studio, because this one's been an absolute treat. I hope they keep on producing stuff. Keep on making scary stuff for us, because they do it really well. When I first played this game, I was absolutely terrified. I think over time, as I did runs for the Lucy chapter and the Loras chapter, I kind of got used to being in the house. So I'm kind of glad that in Raken's chapter, you're sort of out of the house and in the hospital. It kind of gives a big change of scenery and makes it feel kind of fresh. At least for me, I feel like if I wouldn't have done those speed runs, then things would have been a lot different. Because the first time I played those two chapters, I remember being so lost and just not knowing where to go at all. Okay. Let's keep following the stairs. It's easy to get stuck on these stairs in some places, like right here I seem to get stuck quite a bit. Either way, keep pushing up. I think that noise was got recorded from something I was doing on my computer. It's like a, one of my vin videos finishing rendering, which is kind of weird to hear when nothing's actually doing it, that at the moment. <laughs> but oh well. Bonus feature! Welcome to your domain! I was waiting for you impatiently. What? You tell me this isn't your domain? Nonsense! It's the fruit of your hard labor! Can't you see how everyone enjoys their time here? It's all thanks to you they have this newfound home! How fulfilled they all seem! Some of them might look a little... lost, I concur. But what of it? They have a place to be for all of eternity! How delightful for them, courtesy of Dwayne Anderson. <laughs> the dead will whisper tales of your achievements, and you will be remembered forever. Now, now, up you go, chap. Go have a look at your masterpiece. This guy's a dick. Anyway, let's head up the stairs. Freaking plague doctor, dude. So this takes a minute. And these stairs are a little bit buggy. And let's just keep going up. All the way. Taking its sweet time with the slow movement speed on this game. 
But once you get to the top, you need to interact with the small table after climbing this ladder. pretty crazy scene come up here, I'll let it play out. Explain this to me. Please talk to me. I love you, Dwayne. I want to help you. First the alcohol and now this? Who prescribed you this and why? I want to know so I can help you through it. Are you slowly going insane, Dwayne? Should we be worried because we are? Recently you've been scaring everyone with your cold indifference. Are you thinking of leaving us? What do you want to run from so bad that you drug yourself every day? Do you want to die, Dwayne? I could help you with that, you know? I'm only with you because you have money. It's probably blood money, but I don't care. I don't care about you. If you, you want to die, die, I'll happily oblige. Do you want a rope? Want me to kick the bucket? Life would be so much easier without your mopey face around, you delusional fuck. Want me to stab you with seven knives? Want me to rip the jaw off your ugly face? How about I break both your legs and leave you to rot in a cellar? You're a disgrace. People despise you. I despise you. Your children despise you. You're horrifying. You should die. You know what? Forget it. I don't want to help you die. Do it yourself. I won't help you into release. Kill yourself by yourself alone. And go to hell where you belong! Right. And there's your mask piece. Sorted. So back up to the VCR. How many is that now? Is that four or five? I guess we'll find out in a minute. I think that's five? I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going. Got a good chunk of the video left to commentate. Right. Let's pull that tape out of the VCR. Yeah, that's number four. Three more then. Let's go ahead and grab number five, which is Pride. The prison one, in my uh, opinion, is the worst. None of these are really hard except for the prison one. The prison one's just kind of annoying. But we'll get to that next. This one is another one that's in the basement. You may have seen a hatch that's down in the basement. I remember when I was trying to figure out Raken's chapter. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't find the the eye you have to press on the picture that's upstairs, and so. I was walking around the house finding all of these tapes and looking at all of this stuff and figuring things out. It was kind of stupid looking back at it now. 
I originally thought that one of the tapes was how you started the new chapter. Until I found the crutch. I'm guessing if they wanted to, they could keep adding to this game. Just add new chapters and stuff. But I don't know if I'd rather see a new game. You know? They just say yippee. Okay. So that's that tape. Now, when you've watched that tape, this glass is going to spawn with a key in it. And you may have noticed this box before, especially if you've got the collectibles in Lucy's chapter. The, is it Matryoshka, Matryoshka, Matryoshka dolls or something? Uh, if you've got those, you may have noticed that up here in the area you have to move the toolbox is a little box with an omega symbol on it. There we go. We're going to slide through and use the key on this little box. And in here is the handle for the hatch that the video shows you and that's in the basement down by where the mannequin is so let's head there this one's a pretty simple one let's go down the little stairs here Slam in that handle, and then you can open the hatch. You can actually die doing this scenario. But once you know what to do, it's fairly simple. It confused me for a minute. But let's use the hatch again and jump through. There we go. And once we've done that, let's hop up onto the desk here. Pick up a stool, smash it through the window. You don't actually need to press anything, just swing it into the window. I dropped my lighter there, let's pick that back up. And over here on the back wall, you can find the fire axe. Let's grab that and hop up back through the window. You'll need to crouch here and you'll need a lighter for this. There's a lighter on the counter that I just walked past. I'm not sure if I grab it or not here. But it's basically behind you. If you haven't got a lighter, um, the game does give you one. It's sort of on that counter that's central on the screen right there. But if you've got one, you can just pull it out and head into the hole. It would be a bit unfair if you came down here and you needed a lighter and the game didn't give you one. Right, so we're crawling through this hole. And then let's keep following it along. All the way. And back out into the garage. So once you're up here, there's going to be a set of footprints for you to follow. Back into the basement to where we jump down the hatch. And that's where the mask piece is. Let's give him a minute. There we go. Let's follow those footprints. That's pretty much the way we just went anyway. Next up, we've got my least favorite tape which is the prison. There's also an Easter egg in the prison tape. Um, and you don't want to miss that one. I don't think you can go back there. So if you're doing this and you're an achievement hunter and you want to get all of them achievements, this one, it is a tricky one to get. Definitely. 
just because you've got that guy chasing you and it can be annoying he might keep killing you and I think it's kind of buggy at the moment as well but I'll explain when we get there why it's buggy just so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about um, but yeah let's go back upstairs now that we've got that mask piece five out of seven let's keep going let's go get those last two and back in here Let's go ahead and take that tape out, put it back in, get uh, tape number six, which is the prison. And for this one, all you need to do is play the tape and go to the hallway in the basement. Um, I'll go there in a second so you know what, which area I'm talking about, but it just kind of activates as you're walking past. Um, it just kind of gives you... I'm not sure if it shows you where you need to go. Because I think once you play these tapes, like some of them just become active. This one might might be one of the ones that's hard to find, I'm not sure. Like that's kind of the only hint it gives you that's helpful. That second one there where it's like panning down the hallway. Although I'm not sure, let's see. See if there's more to it that's helpful. Yeah, that's, that's it for that tape. And it's kind of hard to tell what you're actually looking at on that second clip. I think I watched this one for longer than I should have. Um, probably let it play twice, thinking it was going to be longer. I was definitely looking away at this point, not paying attention to the screen. <laughs> there we go, let's go. So, now that that's done, let's head to the basement. And in the area where the mannequins are is where we need to go again. It, it might be possible to just... I'm going the wrong way here. It might be possible to play a bunch of the tapes and then activate them as you go along. I haven't actually tried that. I didn't want to do uh, this video in that format. I just wanted to do them one at a time. It doesn't really bother me about doing them fast. It's kind of more about just making sure it's all clear so you guys can follow along easily. So once you reach this point, you're going to look up at the light bulb and then this is going to happen. And if you try and keep following the hallway, it's going to be basically a dead end. But try and remember the layout of this area. I kind of stop here and look left and right. Remember that these two tarns are here because the, all the lights go out and it's really difficult to remember where you are. One light stays on in the middle where I am right now. And you can sort of see where you're going there, but you can't see where you're going in the part I was just looking at. Pretty sure I died a few times trying to do this. So you've got four different areas you've got to go to. I needed to sort my inventory out here because I needed to pick something up in one of the rooms. So this is the close to the exit sign left if you're facing into the darkness. Just so you have some sort of a reference. Let's smash this wall open. You do need to smash them all open. That's the bedroom and we need to come back to the bedroom. So Let's go and do the wall that's opposite. Again, you just have to kind of walk forward and smash the walls after a few seconds of walking into the darkness. It's kind of difficult to see where you're going. Once you're in the rooms, you might want to use pills. There's a couple of these rooms you can walk into. You might want to get some pills um, because you do get Lewis coming after you, which kind of sucks. So the best way to find these hallways now that it's in the darkness it's kind of just a strafe to the left or right when you're literally sticking your face against the wall just so that you can you'll see like sort of stripey you'll see the beams but they're, they're kind of black there's like two shades of black you can see and you want to kind of wait for that to disappear and then move forward that's kind of the only advice i can give you here after a second of chasing you, Lewis will disappear. You can kind of move around him when you're in those kind of open rooms. And then you need to just walk into the darkness straight out of the, that room. If you're facing into the darkness from the exit sign, that was the room on the left. And this is the one on the right. And this is the one that has the box in it. We need this box to get the Easter egg achievement I was taught, uh, telling you about. The game allows you to put the box in your inventory, but the problem is... If you put it in your inventory and then try to take it out when you get to here by the bedroom, it won't let you place it down. You also can't see what you're doing. So you just kind of need to get close to the hole, put it down, 
and then try to step on it and it was definitely being a bit buggy for me it wouldn't let me stand on it when I tried to pull it out of my inventory after storing it there so I was struggling to get this done but once you get in here you can find an axe in the wall and it says from Johnny to you it's uh, the, Sh the movie The Shining reference for anyone who's younger you might not get that but basically it's a, an old school classic horror movie a very famous horror movie if you don't know um, but once you've opened up all of the walls, you can just come here and collect the mirror piece if you don't care about getting that achievement. But if you want that achievement, it's best to get it now, because you can't come back here. So, one more tape to do. I really don't like that tape. It's annoying. Let's go ahead and go back to the VCR. One more to go then. Which is affliction. to look at the TV that would be helpful so this last one you need the crowbar for um, so I'm gonna have to go back to the basement to get it again there's no rush but if you want to grab it while you're already down there you can always do that and for this one you need to go into the room that has the mirrors uh, around the start of Dolores's chapter looked at this tape for too long So let's go get the uh, crowbar then. In here we go. Let's go ahead and crank open these floorboards. Go. Down we go. So, follow along the little cave, let's keep going. It's kind of weird that this will be underneath your house, I'm just saying. It's a bit big, it's a bit big and if you found this underneath your house you would just be like, what? be a bit weirded out. Anyway, we need to head all the way straight forward, swing it around and up these stairs. Keep following this path around and you'll come to a switch you can press. 
press that switch, and now the camera's gonna try and force you to look at some pipes that are being moved, but I struggled to keep the camera centered and just followed my way back. That's pretty much what you gotta do. Now that those pipes have been moved, let's keep following this corridor around. And to this door. set of stairs to your left. And there's a door over here on your left. So when you come in here, there's a key on your right. I kind of think I walked away from it at first here, but it's just on the tray right here. And... I tried to see if we could just go for the vent. You need to climb up onto this table and go into the vent, but before the game will let you do that, you have to go back towards the door in order to start getting chased before it will make you or let you go through the vent. Guess there's no sense of danger yet. There he is. Let's go. As soon as you've seen him, let's head back this way. And from what I've heard, this is how people found out that the guy that's chasing you right now is called Lewis. Like, it, the, the key is, says Lewis. I think it's Lewis Taylor. And that's supposedly the guy that's chasing you, although I don't know how people have figured that out. I'm not really sure, but... Somehow they have. If anybody knows, feel free to put it in the comments. Somebody also said that he's mentioned in the the neighbor pages, which I have read. I just I don't remember seeing a mention of Lewis in there. But either way, down these stairs. I think I took the long way here. You, if you just go down those stairs and then up the ones opposite them, you can probably get to where I'm going a little bit faster. But I think I'd only done this once before and I was kind of a bit like, which way do I go now? But it's a relatively simple room. Just need to climb up the opposite stairs. And uh, you'll sort of end up in a locker room. Here we go. And there's one locker in the back that has uh, some of that goo all around it. Let's open up the locker with the key we just got, grab the card that's inside, and then go and use that key card on the card reader that's on the door down to our right. So here we go. Let's get that final mask piece. We're almost done here. I mean, at this point, you've pretty much just gotta keep walking straight, get your mask piece, put the mask on, follow the path, and you're done. So if you are gonna shoot at this point, thank you for watching. I hope you found the guide helpful. If you wanna support me, just drop a like and a comment on the video, all that good stuff. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be very helpful. I also stream on Twitch if you want to come and check that out. And check out the stream from time to time. We play a lot of horror games. And occasionally our speedrun stuff. Speedrun for this game is like two and a half hours long. I'm thinking it could probably be grinded down to like two hours and ten or something like that. It's a long run.
はいgoes. It's kind of a long scene you have to watch here. With a bunch of bodies appearing and stuff. I'm not sure if they intended you to do the tapes in this order and see all of this stuff in this order. Booties everywhere! There's only really one guy that looks like he's face up in that whole scenario. Hey Lewis. Cheers mate. God damn it. Back to the house. So, like I said before, you don't really have to do those tapes in any particular order. You can do them in whichever order you like. Um, some of them you don't need to watch the tapes, but I think most of them you do. And the final mask piece is in the boiler. So now if we head to the progress room we can put on the mask and get the good ending or the family reunion ending. I always take a look at that dresser there to see if the little alien's there. He doesn't like showing up. It's kind of RNG as to when he shows up. He can also show up in the living room. Not sure if I checked. Yeah, I may have gone and checked. Yeah, he shows up in between these two pictures as well. Either way, let's head back to the progress room. Which is over here. Phone's still ringing. Forget that phone. I'm flicking my lighter like a madman. Alright, complete mask then. Okay. So, the house looks very different now. We just need to follow this path, which will eventually lead us to the basement. So let's keep going. House looks very different in the daytime. Okay. And now we need to smash. Which kind of confuses what I've got to do here at first. I know this is a dead end. But you've got to smash the wall that we were just standing next to. And I was like, where is it I go right now? And then I sort of figured it out that we need to go through here. So. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you do this before you've got all the mask pieces, when you go down here, 
there's just a revolver on a table and you can shoot yourself you'll get an achievement for shooting yourself um, but if you continuously do it I think it's so you use use all of the bullets and then one more time that's how you get the void ending and uh, basically the bad ending Right, there we go. In we go. Let's go meet the fam. Here we go. And that's how you beat Visage. Sorted. Done and done. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you've made it this far, I really do appreciate you staying all the way through the video. If you want to show some support to me, then just smack a like on the video, maybe a little comment or something. And uh, if you're not already, you could also subscribe if you would like to support me even further than that. You can come on over to my Twitch channel. That should be pinned down in the comment section below this video. I hope it's helped you out and get those achievements. Maybe if you got a bit stuck, let me know if it has. Again, thank you all very much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and until next time, take it easy.